my speech is going to be about uh, the Cyberabad Security Council as to uh, how we approach safety and security in a holistic manner. Uh, when I talk about holistic manner, I think there are various aspects to security and safety. Uh, we just don't want to be looking at uh, human safety per se in terms of some of the activities that we do, only for human safety, but we are looking at how do we kind of provide that safety security overall right, to the ecosystem in the Cyberabad zone right, by addressing various different uh, factors of safety and security. Um, I know that you know we've been boring you with that uh, Cyberabad Security Council video right for uh, quite, quite a long time, and uh, I know I'm not sure if you heard the audio part of it. So I think uh, uh, one is doing certain things, and secondly, reaching out to the audience, the target audience, as to what we are doing and how you have to be kind of you know using those services to make sure that you are safe and secure as well, right? So that's the reason why that uh, video is being played. We will just run it through a little later. Um, Cyberbar Security Council was formed in 2006, and primarily it is a wonderful example of uh, you know public-private uh, partnership model. And uh, Telangana government now, I mean, and then it was a AP government, and the IT industry uh, collaborated together to be able to form the society. And uh, this is the vision statement which we kind of you know like came up with uh, uh, last year when I took over in February of 2015. And uh, the chairman of the council is uh, Mr. C. V. Anand, who is the uh, Sabrabad Police Commissioner. And uh, I am representing the industry, and I am the general secretary for the uh, council. Um, so the vision statement, primarily we, just, we want to kind of drive our activities from a vision statement. And uh, if you look at, we want to make Sabrabad and Hyderabad a very safe destination. And of course, making it one of the best IT destinations in the world. And unless otherwise, we just make sure that you know, we have all these safety security aspects covered, right? We will not be able to make this uh, a city a uh, global city. And of course, we want to just, you know, excel in uh, uh, surveillance systems, preventative initiatives, and uh, uh, in using the latest technology, which I'll just cover a little bit later, and partnering with and educating all the stakeholders is very, very important. Unless otherwise the stakeholders are aware of what we are doing, it's going to be very, very, you know, like ineffective. Um, there is a focus on personal safety, particularly women's safety. Uh, IT infrastructure safety, traffic safety, cyber safety, information security and business continuity. That's what I meant by the holistic approach to safety, right? And why women's safety? And I'm sure all these distinguished gentlemen here and lady, uh, ladies here would agree that any society, right, the progressiveness of the society is determined by how safe women are in that society or in the community. If the women, women are not safe, they're not feeling very safe, obviously, now, the progressiveness of that particular community or society is not reached its mark, right? That's very, very important. That's the reason why we just focus on women's safety when it comes to human safety. So, it was formed in 2006, collaboration between Cyberabad Police and IT industry, as I said, uh, is a very unique initiative. Believe me, um, you know, Hyderabad, the first city to just kind of emulate this kind of a model, and seeing us, many different uh, you know, cities have come forward and started emulating the same kind of a model in their own cities. We are very proud of that. A focus on crime prevention through surveillance system, which we will cover. I think DGP sir was just talking about in the CCTV that, uh, you know, uh, cases that were uh, solved using the CCTV data. And just for your kind information, the first set of CCTVs in the Cyberabad zone, about 50 of them were installed by Cyberabad Security Council. And today, we have about close to 150. Almost 50% of it is sponsored by Cyberabad Security Council. The remaining 50% comes from the government. Right, uh, support, and I think uh, there's a huge, uh, you know, kind of. Uh, thank you. We are going through a very aspirational goal. The government is going through very aspirational goals of you know setting up about thousand CCTV cameras. And I heard some, you know, senior police officers say in the past in one of the speeches that eventually they're going to be monitoring the entire city with a lot of CCTV camera footages. Right? Again, not compromising the, on the uh, the personal information, whatever that is. But otherwise, I think uh, they're going to be just monitoring using the CCTV cameras. And how we can achieve that is through five-pronged strategy, which I just talked about here. Increase public transport, control over private transport, enhance visible policing, establish a security system through surveillance systems, education campaign. Cyberabad Security Council is very actively involved in all these five uh, you know, strategies. And I will give you a lot of examples in terms of uh, you know, how we do. A structure is like uh, the chairman of uh, the council is uh, the Commissioner of Police, Hyderabad, the sitting Commissioner of Police. Convener is the DCP, Law and Order. Now it's Mr. Mukartikeya. Secretary is myself. And we also have some office bearers, primarily from the IT industry. And uh, we have the executive committee and, uh, you know, the AGM, 
that we conduct. So how do we just approach this uh, in a holistic manner? We look at uh, human security, infrastructure security, traffic security and cyber security. To be able to achieve all these different uh, aspects of security, we have created a lot of forums, like four different forums. And each forum kind of you know, like translates the vision into activities, on, uh, uh, activities of each and every forum. See, a lot of projects and programs that uh, we've been undertaking and we've been just successfully you know, uh, conducting our uh, uh, she shuttles. How many of you know she shuttles? Heard about she shuttles? Yes. So typically the product of uh, some of the organizations carry a better brand than the organization itself. That's what I always believe in, right? So she shuttle was launched sometime in last year. There's a brainchild of you know us and uh, when we thought about this concept from the ideation stage to the implementation stage, it took about only 45 days. And this is just not a simple transport system. It is an intelligent transport system, which means uh, it is enabled with mobile technology. Right, and uh, we can download the app on the uh, uh, you know, mobile phones, smart phones, and be able to track the f uh, bus at any point in time where it is, and the women can just walk to the bus stop just about a minute ago, so that they don't have to be in a vulnerable situation standing in the bus stops and kind of getting exposed to any you know um, ant antisocial kind of elements. So this is a wonderful uh, initiative and uh, it's been appreciated. I hear from a lot of women employees in the IT corridor that, sir, would you just run this bus from Miyapur or maybe Kukatpalli or maybe some other part of uh, Mary Patnam, whatever. So he said, sorry, we don't want to be competing with the RTC buses here. We are just goal is to only run the shuttles within the corridor. And uh, a great uh, uh, service by Cyber Bus Security Council. Project Safe Stay is basically to make sure that women in the IT corridor who are staying in the hostels are safe. We, are come up, we have come up with the uh, cooperation of uh, 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 Cyberabad Police. We have issued the guidelines as to what kind of safety measures each and every you know, hostel has to take because it is an unorganized sector at this point in time. So we just want to bring about certain you know, criteria to be able to govern and manage the uh, hostels in the, in the area. Marga Darshik is basically a program where we kind of uh, you know, like make women uh, counselors who will be able to kind of work in each and every organization and provide emotional support and uh, work-related work support and harassment-related support to the women uh, in, the, uh, in the workplace. Emergency response program as to in the event of any emergency happening, how the IT companies have to be responding in the same way, in the same language, so that the evacuation or any kind of you know, like corrective action that is being taken by the law enforcement authorities are happening in a very smoother manner. Um, the traffic volunteers is another major success because uh, I know Cyberbats police do not have enough uh, you know, tra uh, traffic police, so we're just trying to augment them with a uh, lot of IT employees coming and volunteering to do the traffic support. We have about close to 1,000 IT employees now doing the traffic support along with the Cyberbath Police. And uh, one of the important things that I need to just talk about here is that, uh, as I said, the CCTV cameras. One of the incidents that happened about two and a half years ago is the Nabaya incident. One lady was kind of kidnapped in a, in a cab. So that was basically was uh, the police were able to kind of find the culprit pretty quickly because of the CCTV that was out there, which captured the information and they were able to troubleshoot and get the you know, incident resolved. So the cab registration, many of you have seen that many cabs here, flying here, or even in the Hyderabad area have a sticker, like the car is safe and ca cab registration details. So the reason is that whenever, whenever anybody wants to use it, they can just use the barcode to be able to get the information and send the information out to uh, anybody who just you know, care for them. And uh, we can easily track and get the details of the owner and the driver in a very quick uh, minute because all these details are registered with the Cyberabad Police. And SESC, Cyberabad City Council is just, you know, like uh, uh, sponsoring all these different activities. The programs, we reach out to each and every IT company, go talk about, you know, like the women's safety and uh, the traffic safety and the cyber safety as, uh, activities, right? Uh, because eventually, unless otherwise they, you know, internalize the things that have uh, been given to them, it will be very difficult for uh, you know, uh, any program to be successful.